how do you introduce yourself as a realtor or just bring up in conversation that you are in real estate without sounding pushy, salesy, sleazy, or just annoying? Well, that is what we're gonna be going over today. If we have not met already, hi, my name is Karis. I'm a real estate broker here in South Florida. And if you enjoy all things real estate, social media, and self-development, then you will enjoy this channel. So make sure you subscribe and stick around. All right, if you wanna learn some tips, some advice on how to just bring up that you are a realtor, then just keep on watching. And if you stick around to the end, I have a really exciting announcement that I'm gonna be talking about. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back on the couch today, which I really like being here compared to being at my desk. It's a lot comfier, but it's giving podcast vibes, which kind of makes me want to start one. Let me know in the comments, is that something that you guys would enjoy? Should I start one? Will I start one? We will see, but let's get into the topic of the video and that is introducing yourself or just bringing up that you are a real estate agent in conversation because I know that a lot of people have like awkwardness and anxiety on how to bring it up because they don't want to sound pushy, they want it to sound organic and I totally get that. I had the same thing when I started in real estate. I was like, I want to say something because I know that I am helping them, but then again, it's like, you don't wanna be annoying and being that one that's always like, I'm a realtor, I can help you sell or buy a house. We don't want that. So first of all, I think it's really important to remember that you are coming from a side of service because if you remember that you are serving and you are helping someone, then it takes away the point of it being salesy. So remember, first of all, in your mindset that you are a service provider and you're there to serve them. And it helps that conversation just flow better because you're not bringing up in the sense of, I have to have this conversation. I have to bring up that I'm a realtor because I need more clients. I need more deals. I need more checks. You're coming from a place of, I can serve this person. Now, one of the main things that I think is important to do when it comes to bringing up that you're in real estate is to ask first. I speak a lot about you give, 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 then you ask to receive. It's kind of in the sense of that, in that if you want to be asked something, you ask. If you want to receive, you give, things like that. So when it comes to real estate and you wanna bring it up and it comes to work, like that's what you're doing typically for work. So you ask someone, hey, what do you do for work? You see what I'm saying? If they tell you what they do, they're very much likely gonna say, oh, what do you do? That's a great way to bring up that you are in real estate with someone new. So whether you're at a networking event, whether you are meeting someone for the first time, whether you're being introduced to somebody else, a friend of a friend, ask them, oh, what do you do? It's a very normal question to ask. And I feel like realtors are very antsy. They want to be asked but they don't ask first. So remember that when you're in conversation with someone, ask them first. Now, another way that you can do this, speaking of at networking events, when you are speaking to the people, ask them for a card. Oh, thank you, here's my card. You see what I'm saying? Instead of being the one who is like, oh, and here's my card, I'm a realtor, whatever, like, no. Instead, say, oh, do you have a card? So ask first, whether it's in conversation, whether it's for a card, like, it really helps to make it more organic because most nice people, if you ask them something, they're gonna ask you something in return. Now, moving on to someone that you already know and you have that rapport built with them, a friendship, a friend of a friend, whatever, ask them, what they're up to that weekend, that day, whatever. Most likely you can tie something that you're doing into the conversation. So you ask them, oh, what are you up to this weekend? Oh, I'm doing this, I got my kids soccer game, blah, blah, blah. And then they say, oh, what about you? What are you up to? Oh, well, actually I'm hosting an open house for my listing, it's actually down the street. Or if you've not got a listing, you can say, oh, I'm doing some showings for my buyers. Um, they came in from out of town. Like, whatever it is, or even if you don't have any clients at all, you can say something of what you are doing. I'm getting out in my community, I'm going to an event, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Whatever it is you're doing that's related to real estate, which should be something you're doing, busiest is at the weekend, say that. 
because it just brings up naturally the conversation that you are in real estate because usually they'll then say oh yeah you're in real estate how's the market it's usually or it'll be oh yeah the interest rates are terrible right now and then you know the answers to those those things that are brought up interest rates in the housing market those are two things that are very much getting brought up in conversation. So have answers for them. Okay, so you know how to bring up in conversation someone who you don't really know or you're being introduced to. You know how to bring it up, asking for somebody else's card at a networking event. Then you know how to bring it up to someone that you've already got rapport with, you've already been introduced to. Now let's talk about just general showing people that you are in real estate. And a great way to do that is having something that is branded that you are in real estate. Now, I am very excited to announce I am finally opening up my store. It is called That Realtor Shop. So they have all these different designs on things like hoodies, t-shirts, sweats, mugs, mouse pads, phone cases, all the things that you can think about. I've been spending a while on creating this and being able to have some designs that I love on there that I can see people actually wanting to wear and a great way that you can basically have it in people's faces that you are in real estate without having to be awkward about it. So, so many different options of things on there. You have to go check it out. I'll leave the link below so you can go see it. So, whether you are walking around doing the groceries, whether you're going to pick your kids up from school, whether you are going to the dog park, whether you're going to a local event, you can have something on you, whether it's a hat, whether it's a tote bag, on it that you are in real estate because then it's just a topic of conversation then you really do have people who will bring it up to you rather than you having to bring it up to them so i'm super excited to be launching the store that realtor shop i hope you all really love the stuff that's on there like i said i spent a lot of time kind of crafting out the designs i am all about branding and letting your reputation speak for you all the items have all different color options so you can do your brand color with the designs like it's great so check it out the link will be below that realtor shop dot Com. All right, I hope this video was some help to you on how you can naturally and organically bring up in conversation that you are in real estate. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.